Hello out there, Metrology world, and welcome to this next episode of the MetLogic's Tips and Techniques video series. This is video number two, and we will be covering the Pattern Model Editor. Again, we'll be publishing a video like this a couple times each month, covering the least well-known and hopefully most useful features in the MX series measuring software. Again, please feel free to subscribe to this series using the link found in the notes section below the video. You'll be notified by email when new videos become available. So let's jump right in. In this video, we'll be covering the Pattern Model Editor. When we teach a pattern in the M3 software, the system automatically detects key points based on the pixels inside of the model marquee box. On occasion, these key points need to be edited or removed from the model for the part program we're creating. There's effectively two reasons to remove key points from a model when authoring a part program in the M3. One of those reasons is because those key points have been detected on surface illumination or pixel noise or some other part of the image, and that particular edge is not likely to be present part to part. Surface reflection is a perfect example of this. To remove key points from a pattern model, we'll first go ahead and teach a pattern in our image. Once the pattern has been taught, we can go into the Feature Detail view and click on the bitmap stamp of that pattern. Once clicking on the Detail stamp, we'll be in the Pattern Editor view. We can simply left mouse down over the key points that we would like to remove from the model. The plus and minus key in the top left can be used to enlarge or decrease the size of the model eraser. Once we've removed those points from the model, we can go ahead and click Done to store our changes. Reselecting the pattern feature in the feature list will show us the results of our edit session. In some cases, it's also helpful to remove key points from our model in order to speed up the playback of programs. The larger the key point model, the longer it takes the M3 to process that pattern in program playback. In this example here, we can see that there are superfluous key points that are not necessarily contributing to the strength of our model. Concentric circles is a good example of this. Again, we can go into our pattern model editor and remove many of these superfluous key points. Once our changes are complete, we press done and we can view the results of our edit session. Thanks so much for joining us. And remember, if you'd like to subscribe to this video series, feel free to click on the link below the video.